Today we're going to be comparing some high-end versus some low-end catcher's mitts. This is the first episode in a series of videos titled Cheap versus Expensive. So just to explain things, you have high-end gloves like the Wilson A2000s and A2Ks and Rawlings Pro Preferred and Heart of the Hide. These are just going to be like $300 to $400 and they're going to be very stiff, hard to break in, but last a very long time and be super comfortable. Then we have middle tier options, sort of like the Sandlot series here. Some might say it's a low end, it's a little bit on the lower side, but Gold Glove Elite, Sandlot, all these gloves are going to be pretty decent for them. And the low end gloves, such as this one, is the Rawlings Premium Series. They're going to be super soft, ready to go right when you get them. They're not going to last as long, they're going to bust in some spots, but they're going to get the job done. So overall, it depends on your strengths. If you're like a big a big kid or a big adult, then you'd go with a high-end glove that you can handle, you can break it in, it'll last super long, and it will be worth the money. But if you're a little less strong, then you could go with like a mid-tier option. Or for like your average youth player, a lower tier option. This is gonna be a lot cheaper, like $70 compared to this one that's 400 It also depends on the brand. Wilson gloves are going to be more of a box-shaped, like square and the Rawlings gloves are going to be, all Rawlings gloves, even the high-end ones, are going to be a little more like, a little more standard shaped, I would say. Like this one here, it, when you, right when I got it, it started to lean towards more of like that kind of clothes. Like as soon as you got it, it starts to do that. Whereas the Wilson, it always closes like box. So my preference is the Rawlings gloves, even the high-end ones. I have a Pro Preferred catcher's mitt I don't have out here right now. I would say that's nicer than the A2000. Personally, I would say that. But I think the high-end glove is definitely worth it if you can have if you have the kind of money that you need to spend on a high-end glove. And if you th think you're being able to break the lower it. Lower-end gloves will also get a deeper pocket more quickly. This one stretches way back, which is sometimes good, but other times not that good. So these definitely aren't gonna last as long, even if it still holds up, it's not gonna, it's not gonna last as well as in performance either. So this leather is gonna be thinner, softer, and it's gonna be thicker and harder. Mid-tier gloves are gonna be somewhere in between. They're gonna be relatively hard to break in, but somewhat easy at the same time. They're gonna have pro patterns, good shapes, and then they're also just gonna be yeah, like I said before, a little easier to break in. And they are gonna last a while at the same time. So overall, it really depends on your strengths and your budget. So if you want, if you're, if you're strong and you've got a lot of money to spend on a glove, then I would go with the high end. If, if, you don't have, if you're strong and you don't have enough money to spend on a super high tier glove, then go with a mid tier option. Or, and then if you're not really strong enough to close a high-end glove, then I would just go with the low-end glove just to have for like a year or two before you're able to use a high-end glove like a Wilson A2000 or a Rowling Tart of the Hive. I got this glove when I was 10, which is probably a little too early. It was this much broken in after two years, so. And I was sitting behind a machine and everything constantly, so this thing is an absolute rock. As you can see, it doesn't have the deepest pocket compared to this Rawlings over here, which I've also had for maybe a little less than two years now, and it can... I've actually probably had this one for two years, this like two and a half, but yeah, absolutely swallows it. Stretches way back, which is not a positive, but... And then if you look over here at the Rawlings Sandlot, this is like almost brand new swallows the ball completely just because it comes with a very deep pocket there. This is CM33 pattern, which is my favorite catcher's mitt pattern. Highly recommend it, especially at a higher tier glove. It's amazing. So I would recommend going with a mid-tier option, but if you have if you have the money, go with, definitely go with a higher tier option. So this is I'm Luke the Catcher. Thanks for watching this cheap versus expensive series video and tune in for the next one.